What's up, y'all? Welcome to the channel. It's Garbage Gaming TV. Always bringing you a little bit of news today. So let's go ahead and get into it. Boom. Francis Singano. What are you doing, my guy? <laughs> Talk about a guy who has just fallen from grace. Uh, dude, his stock is dropping so fast. Look at this. One championship claims to have offered Francis Singano $20 million guaranteed. And that wasn't enough money. Who does he think he is? I'm just, I'm really shocked by this guy. You know, he is one of the scariest heavyweights to ever exist. But, you know, he's got a couple losses on his record. Um, he's, I don't know what's what's really true. Whether it's uh, he's scared of John Jones or John Jones is scared of him. But we keep hearing that. But apparently... Apparently, um, it just wasn't enough money. This dude's stock is dropping so quick. It's not even funny, though. Uh, we got some one championship here. Boom, here we go. We got John Jones says, uh, Steepy Miocic fight likely his last unless Francis Ngato returns to the UFC. Francis ain't going to fight him, dude. I don't think John Jones is scared of Francis one little bit. I think Francis is scared to death of John Bones Jones. Look at this last fight. He made Cyril Gain look like he didn't belong in the cage, in the same room, same cage, even same fucking arena. Look what John Jones did. And people want to tell me that John Jones is scared of Francis Ngato? No, no, he's not scared of Francis Ngato, dude. If any, if anything. Francis Ngano is scared of John Jones because he knows when John Jones whoops his ass, all the hype behind him, all the all he's built up is gone for good. And then John Jones is going to walk off and you know ride his horse off into the sunset. And then even if Francis came back and won the belt, he's not John Jones, not John Jones. And everybody thinks Stipe has a chance. No, he don't. He's the old man that the UFC has sacrificed him for John Jones. And, you know, we all know what John Jones have has done to Daniel Cormier. Daniel Cormier beat Stipe. Francis beat Stipe. So, uh, just, you know, there's a lot of MMA math factors and things like that. But Francis Ngano is 17-3. What is he, 250, 83 inch reach? Um, who did he lose to? Derek Lewis, and then he lost to Stipe. And it's a shame. Oh, wow. He destroyed all these guys. But look at look at his record, though, for real, though. Be honest here. Curtis Blades. Curtis Blades is a good fight, a good fighter, but. He's just not on on uh, Francis's level. Cain Velasquez washed up. He's done. His knee. It's not really that he's washed up or doesn't have the skill. It's just his body has fallen apart. Junior Dos Santos, same thing. And that shows. The age shows in these. And he barely beat Cyril Game. I'm not saying he barely beat him, but he just out wrestled him. Look, we look at this though. Francis only landed 43 punches. Surrogane landed 63. Wow. Uh, takedowns four versus one. I guess that's submission attempts. I don't know. I, I don't, I forget. But that's three and oh. So to say he barely won that fight, yeah, he barely won that fight, in my opinion. Because Cyril Gain, I remember he was lighting him up on the feet. Now, Stipe, Stipe's fucked. Stipe's old. Stipe's done, dude. But, man, when you got somebody wanting $100 million just to fight MMA, MMA and it's not Conor McGregor, um, just it's not good for Francis, dude. I think his stock is dropping. I think it's a matter of time before he becomes completely 100% irrelevant. People can say what they want, but he is going to become irrelevant. Look at the, look at his age. 
36 years old. And the only reason people are excited about the, the, next, the next time Stipe fights is because he's fighting John Jones. Stipe's stock has dropped too because he got annihilated by Francis. So, and he's been gone for like, what, three years? With ring rust and everything else, I think John Jones takes that fight. I think John Jones takes this fight too. He will destroy Francis Ngano. He will make him look like a toddler in the cage. And that's just how it is, man. That's just how it is. And, but he's 36 years old. He's trying to get all these boxing deals and all these things. He's getting money thrown at him. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If he went to one championship right now, took the $20 million deal. Let's say it was for four fights, maybe five fights. He could literally clear those fights in less than two years. And then as long as he doesn't lose, which let's be honest with you, one championship has nothing on the UFC. Let's be real here. Y'all can say what you want, but one championship has nothing on the UFC fighters. I think that his stock goes up more and he'd be offered a lot more money, the money that he wants. But in the position that he's in currently, it's just, it's not good. And I'll tell you why it's because of these, these were forever ago. This, this was five years ago, but the two losses, he's got six wins and it's not like he's been, you know, facing bad competition. It's just his last competition with Cyril Gain and it went to a decision. And John Jones just annihilated Cyril Gain in under, like, what, two minutes in the first round? John Jones destroys anybody in this division right now. And Francis knows that he will lose. And a matter of fact, Here is this, if you don't believe me. Um, okay, so they're not putting it out here. Okay, so here's what happened. Francis was offered like, I think $8 million to fight John Jones. But if he lost, which he would, he knows he would, that $8 million is not guaranteed. He would only see a fraction of that, but he's talking all this shit. His ego is out of control. He's talking all this shit. He wants all this money, but he's not fighting John Jones. Do you know what would happen if he even had a close fight with John Jones? His stock still goes up. If he beat John Jones, he can make he can make the call for anything. But he doesn't want that fight. He's scared to death of John Jones. And for good reason, it's fucking John Jones. John Jones is no joke. Look at this. My gosh. That right there, that was a no contest. That's a win now. Okay, that's that's been uh, I know they said it was overturned, but the no contest thing is gone, too. I believe he never lost that fight. Matt Hamill, he didn't lose that fight, dude. Brandon Vera, Vladimir, Ryan Bader, Mauricio Shogun Hua, Rampage Jackson, Leota Machida. And these guys were in their prime, y'all. They were in their prime. Rashad Evans, Vitor Belfort, Chael Sonnen, Alexander Gustafson, Glover Tashir, Daniel Cormier, Ovain St. Pru. He beat Daniel Cormier again there. D- fucked a pentagram. He won that fight. I don't care what anybody takes. Alexander Gustafson again. Third round destroyed him. Anthony Smith destroyed that fucking punching bag. Tiago Santos destroyed that punching bag. Dominic Reyes. Everybody says, this is a close fight. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, what, well, what's this? Two takedowns, 104 strikes versus he won that fight. Wrestling won him that fight. So y'all can fuck off of that. John Jones won that fight. Okay. And what's Ray has been doing since he lost that fight. Fucking getting his teeth knocked in. That's what Cyril game for the heavyweight guillotine choke two minutes, four seconds in the first round. So. Francis can talk all the shit he wants. He can say whatever he wants, but his stock is down, and that's just how it is. The dude's done. 
You look at this record here, you're looking at the greatest of all time. And fuck y'all who say it's Khabib. Khabib ain't nobody, dude. Compared to this, look at this. Compared to this? You kidding me? That's a whole different video, though. But Francis, dude? Brother, you better be taking the $8 million fight. You better start doing it, because nobody's going to pay you $50 million to fight them. No company, nobody wants you for $50 million. $100 million is even crazier than that. Nobody's going to do that. But guys, this is Garbage Gaming TV signing out. Uh, leave your thoughts and comments in the uh, comment section below if you'd like. I, I'm always pretty quick to reply to everybody. But man, like um, Francis, dude, you're 36. You better start taking these fights before it's too late, dude. That's all I got to say. All right. See you guys later.